You're watching CES Live, powered by Ustream.tv, the most powerful way to stream live video, and by NewTek, makers of the TriCaster family of broadcast and streaming systems. And now, CES Live. Hey folks, welcome back to our continuing coverage of CES here 2014 in Las Vegas. I'm John P. And I am Derek Kessler. And with us also we have Dr. Jacob Fraden, who's the inventor of the sensor jacket. How you doing? Well, I'm doing okay, and uh, I hope Sensor Jacket will be doing okay as well. <laughs> we all do. Yeah, just give it a time. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. So first of all, uh, how's your CES experience going? Uh, well, terribly busy. Uh, well, we have a booth uh, at Eureka Park. Uh, essentially, it's uh, for startup innovative yeah. companies. Uh, and uh, we've been quite busy over there. Not as busy as these guys over here, but still pretty good. They have a little momentum because they've been around for a while. Plus, I think they've probably, you know, like uh, the Z-Wave Alliance, they probably spent about a million bucks on that booth right there. So <laughs> well, it was a little bit cheaper for us. Yeah, <laughs> yeah just a little, right? <laughs> so, uh, okay. Uh, well, um, tell us about Sensor Jacket because uh, I've heard about it, and what from what I've heard, you are augmenting the capabilities of our smartphones and giving them the ability to do new stuff. Well, that's exactly right. You know what? What is the smartphone? Smartphone is a modern day Swiss Army knife. Yeah. So you have like several blades, maybe screwdriver, maybe you have uh, uh, some forceps, uh, but that's about it. What if you would like to expand capability for Swiss Army knife? What you're gonna do? You're gonna put attachment blade <laughs> to it, you know? That would be pretty stupid, isn't it? Yeah. So uh, what we decided to do, well, if we have a smartphone, smartphone like a Swiss Army knife has a, let's say four or five blades. It's a camera inside, uh, there's a, a, let's say, magnetometer inside, there's a couple of other sensors inside. What if you want to do some, something additional? For example, if you would like to measure body temperature, or would like to see uh, what the temperature of your cooking, uh, what is the temperature of your, uh, let's say, home insulation? Do you have a good home insulation? Or defective schema circuit board uh, overheating? Or but you can't do that. You can't see the temperature of those things. Well, of course not, uh, because there's no special sensor uh -huh. insi inside the smartphone. So besides, well, what, what if you would like to, uh, let us say you have a girl, and girl goes for a date, and she would like to have a very nice breath. Uh, but she doesn't know if she has a good breath or not. So if she has a smartphone with uh, some special breathalyzer, she breathes on it and uh, she, it, it, it tells her she's okay to go for a, for a date. Okay. Is that a good idea, isn't it? Uh, <laughs> that okay. is a good idea, but it doesn't exist. Wow, that's what we're going at. You know. <laughs> okay. So, so that's what uh, uh, sensor jacket comes in. Sensor jacket essentially is a protective cover for a smartphone, you have a plenty of those in the market, zillions of them mm -hmm. uh, uh, yeah. available. So what we decided to do, we decided to put additional sensors inside the jacket. When you put jacket on the top of the smartphone, essentially you put like a jacket on the phone with additional sensors and give the telephone uh, additional sensing capabilities. New capabilities, okay. New capabilities. Essentially, you're adding new blades to the Swiss Army knife. So, uh, and this for example is uh, uh, iPhone 5. Um, um, iPhone 5, and it has, uh, let me turn it on, uh, uh, it has uh, several uh, operating uh, uh, modes. It has a medical mode, surface mode, and it has a uh, um, uh, delta mode. Now wait uh, a minute, what is that? Is that an app that you guys it's, it's, wrote? It's an app, exactly. Okay. Uh, on, on the jacket itself, there's a sensor. You can see this infrared sensor inside. That's a tiny one. Uh, it's a very small camera. Essentially, it's a single pixel thermal camera. Okay. Which can take your temperature. Well. Um, uh, let, let me show you a little bit uh, um, clearer, uh, b b b better, better image design. Uh, this is another jacket, and uh, I have here uh, medical mode. Uh, what I do, I just uh, uh, put it like that, and let's see uh, how cool uh, this gentleman is. Okay. Uh, so I bring it to his forehead, and what does it show? I don't. It's see. a little green dot. There's a little oh, green. No, like, uh, nine, oh, no, Oh, ninety-seven point five. Yeah, he's cool indeed today. You are cool. Yeah. You're not even ninety-eight point seven. You're ninety-seven point five. Well. well, well <laughs> <laughs> okay, but if, but if I wanna, I would like to measure, let's say, uh, surface temperature like that. You can see I can bring my hand here and the numbers are moving. That's here. freaky. Yeah. So so you you, you can do. Wait, uh, let me do it. Exactly. See what my see what the back of my hand is. 77, do okay. the desk. 
72. Okay, well, uh, well, on the top probably will be warmer, right? Oh, cooler because it's, it's 65. Las it's Las Vegas. It's a cool roof, you know. But that's right. <laughs> <laughs> that's amazing. Okay. Any, anyway, so that's that, that, that's what we have, and uh, we're going to make uh, these jackets uh, for different st type of sensors. One jacket, for example, we're contemplating is for the construction worker. We would like to have in this jacket four different kinds of sensors. Number one will be a thermal imaging camera. It's coming up in approximately, uh, I would say, eight months. It will be thermal imaging camera, so the, uh, the, the, the construction worker will be able to see the heat distribution in the building. Like on a wall or something? Oh, on a wall, Point for example, thermal insulation to check, to see, okay. to see, to see if there's any leak. The second one, we're going to put there uh, the, uh, the, the stud finder. Then we're going oh. to put the humidity sensor. When we're going to put a range meter, so the guy doesn't need to carry different instruments and even measuring tape, so everything will be in the smartphone. A range meter? A range meter, well, like, like a tapeless tape. I know, so <laughs> you mean like, for example, they could have a little app in their iPhone and then uh, they could go take it into a room, hit a button, and it would like measure the room well, and well, capture well, but, the dimensions? But, but, but you see, you will have an image in the phone here. Mm -hmm. So then, uh, on the image, you will, uh, you will be a dot, you're exactly right. So where's the dot? You just superimpose the dot in a particular pie, uh, part of the building, and it will tell you in the number how many feet to that particular mm -hmm. dot. So you will know, you will see the number. So essentially, you, you will be just aiming. So the, 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 the camera is an essential part of it. So uh, we, the, the technology is patented, and I hope it will be a successful business. Really. Uh, Very cool. I can imagine a lot of different. Now, how? So when you build all these sensors into the uh, into the case, are you gonna you communicating with the, the device via Bluetooth? Yeah, it's an excellent question. Uh, what we have here, uh, you you can see on the back side, uh, that's a Bluetooth. Uh, uh, unfortunately, Apple doesn't support so-called NFC, which is near field communication. Right. Mm -hmm. So uh, we have to have a Bluetooth here. So that's why we need a battery. That's a battery compartment, oh, which, okay. which lasts for a long time, actually almost four years. So you don't have to change the what? battery. What? And Bluetooth 4.0, low energy? Well, it's, you see, because it, it shuts off itself after we take temperature. Okay. So to reactivate, you have to push that button. Mm. So that's why it, it works for a very short time. So if you compute approximately three to four years, that's the lifetime. Wow. Yeah, for uh, when we use Android-based devices, we will use NFC, of course. And for NFC, with NFC, as you, can know, as you know, uh, we can harvest energy. Mm -hmm. uh, so since we can harvest energy from the, blue, from the telephone, then we don't need any battery for that. I so didn't know that. Yeah. I did, did you know that? I, I so you see, you learned something new today. I did. So wait, you're <laughs> telling me that you could put the sensor in the case and you can use NFC well, and... What NFC does, it can harvest energy from uh, the uh, RF signal which right. is emanated by the... By the phone. By, by the phone. It's, it's a small It's energy. enough for it's your easy. sensor. Yeah, sensor takes very little energy. Well, in terms of electrical current, it's approximately one milliamp current. Oh, okay. Okay, one milliamp, so NFC can support that kind of a current and, and uh, it's enough to power it. So you don't need any battery. But you did say the magic word Android, because that tells me you're not just looking to support these uh, things on iOS devices. You're looking to do this more broadly with other uh, devices absolutely. as well. Absolutely. Well, but you have to uh, before you run, you have to walk. Of course. Know, so, yeah. so we started. Started with, with iOS. Uh, yeah, starting with iOS. Uh, probably uh, because we're starting with a medical. Now we're waiting for FDA approval. Obviously, we, we cannot sell until uh, we get the approval from Food and Drug Administration because this is a, this is a, sensor, is a medical grade device. So, and we want to use it for the medical application. And what I heard that most doctors and nurses they prefer iPhones. Yep. Maybe I'm mistaken. No, I think you're right. So, so that's why we decided let's start with iOS and then we will move to Android because I'm pretty sure a lot of people would like to to use it in different applications. Yeah. I think they're exciting. I think that you will have success. Just as long as you can make sure that you, you keep that battery life up, give them the nice rugged uh, case. From what you've shown me, I'm already impressed. And that's hard to do because like we out. see a lot of crap. It's like something out of Star Trek. <laughs> yeah, it is. It's like a tricorder. Yeah. <laughs> well, you see, um, I, in my life, I did several uh, very exciting products, you know. So this is a, my probable, I don't know, maybe last venture, maybe not, but uh, definitely one of the most exciting. So you're probably seeing my other uh, products. Uh, have you seen air thermometer, maybe? 
Uh, yeah. So I invented the thermometer. Awesome. Yeah. So you're probably seeing. Um, I have uh, one at home. Well, uh, congratulations. <laughs> Thanks. You made me rich. <laughs> uh, well, uh, another product you probably know, the motion control light switch, which turns lights, lights off in a room. Yes. So this is one of my products. Awesome. So, uh, home blood pressure machine is another one. So it's, it's a bunch of different. I products. have all of them. Okay. You see. <laughs> so, now, so I'll get one of these too, so and I'll round out my collection. It's a deal. So I'll send you free one. <laughs> Sounds good. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. You You're guys, welcome. thanks for tuning in for all of our continuing coverage here at CES 2014. We'll be back with a lot more. Stay tuned. Thank you. Thank you.